Open the door. Open the door, ma'am. You are under arrest for obstruction of justice. Open the door. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I know there's a lot of noise going on in the background. <laughs> I'm going to try and get through this right quick. Whew. Couple of days off feels real good being home. Get some rest and relaxation. Welcome back, everybody, to the Lockout Men podcast show. Thank you very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And while you're here, why don't you do me a favor and give me the HBO special? That's a help a brother out special. You can do that by hitting the like button, subscribe button, and the thank you button to show support for the channel. That's what's up. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. This right here is privileged. Privileged. You know, you get pulled over, and I understand you, you, you get pulled over. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, well, she got lucky. At least she had the window busted out and everything. And I get it. I understand it. But this is privilege. Like, when you get pulled over, and I, I tell my son this all the time, and he knows this to this very day so he can pass it on. But if you get pulled over by a cop, why 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 make an issue more than what it is whatever you got pulled over for just make the situation a little bit better by having your credentials ready ready that's it your credentials ready just have your license and your insurance ready when they come up to you because remember you you don't have to speak to the cop you re remember you do have the right to remain silent okay that i mean you do have that right but you don't have privilege okay and what i mean by privilege with this young lady right here in this video right here hold on Come on up. Get out of the car. No, I'm going. I live three streets down. Open the door. No. Ma'am, I'm not going to ask you again. I don't know you. What do you want? Okay, well, I'm a police officer. Okay, you don't have you went the wrong way down a one way street. You don't have a seatbelt on. I I'm allowed under know. I'm allowed under state, uh, under federal case law to remove you from the vehicle federal and have you have a seat in my car. What are you talking I just got off work. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you very nicely to step out of the vehicle, please. Okay, I'm going to break your window and drag you out of the car. Not. I'm legally allowed to do that, ma'am. what? I'm asking you to step out of the, no, the car. I lift three down. I okay, let the me work. get your driver's license proof of insurance. Okay. Down here it is. And these federal police officers are telling me they can break down my windows. Will you please come here? Can you can you open the can you no. I need your driver's I, license I proof of insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am, or you're going to be placed under arrest for obstruction. Ma'am. Ma'am, I'm going to break your window, and I'm going to pull you out of the vehicle, and I don't want to do that. And then you'll be under arrest, and you will go to county jail. Do you understand? Sixty radio. I got a non-compliant driver. Would you put the hand Females refusing to get out of the car. Roll the window down. This is not your traffic stop. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to break your window. Open the door. Open the door, ma'am. You are under arrest for obstruction of justice. Open the door. Thank you. 
You're under arrest, ma'am. You need to step out of the vehicle. You need to step out of the vehicle immediately, ma'am. You're under arrest. Ma'am, you are under arrest. Step out of the vehicle. What did I do? Please don't hurt me. You're under arrest, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. You're under arrest, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. You're under arrest, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. I gave you multiple, multiple warnings, and you did not comply with my orders. You can't apologize for your poor mistakes at this point. I understand that. I live four streets down. Okay, so what's your, where's your driver's license? Where's your proof of insurance? And why wouldn't you provide it to you? Okay, well, your dad can see you in handcuffs in the back seat of my car. No, I will not. What's your name? What's your name? Okay, well, that's another charge. It's failure to provide information to a police officer. I'm scared. Okay, so what's your name? Let's calm down. What's your name? What did I do wrong? I just told you. You committed a traffic infraction. I asked for your driver's license proof insurance. You I failed to give it to me. So failure to identify is a charge. You can be arrested for it. What did I do failure? wrong? Obstruction of justice is also a, a charge. You can be arrested Kayla, for it. Why are you What's your last name? Me? Well, you tell me why I'm detained. Go ahead and put her in the back seat of my car. I'm asking you. Cop walked up to her. He said, yo, you know, I'm going to need you to step out of the car. I understand by you saying, yo, I'm not going to step out the car, what would you like? I understand that part. Have your credentials ready, especially when he asks for it. Look, I'm going to need your driver's license and your proof of insurance. Cool, no problem. Hand it to him. Don't make a problem more than what it is. You're going to tell him you're not going to get out of the car. You can't do this. You can't do that. I'm only a couple of feet down the street. Obviously, you're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. You just got off of work. Okay, look, officer, I just got off of work. Here's my license. Yada, 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 yada. Give me my ticket. I'll go home, pay it, boom, and I'm on to the next, man. Why make it an issue? Why make it a big deal than what it already is? Now, now, not only that you're not going to work tomorrow, but you got to You go into jail. Your car is getting impounded. You got to get a new window. You got. Well, let, let me start from the top. You got to pay to get out of jail because you got to get a bond. All right. That's money coming. That's money coming out of your pocket. Then after you get out of jail. You got to figure out a way to get home, meaning that you're going to have to call for an Uber or call for your family members to come and get you. If they can't come and get you, Uber, money coming out of your pocket. All right. Once you get all that settled, you got to find out where your car is at. So you got to go and get it. Money coming out of your pocket. So you got to go and get your car. After you get your car, you got to find out where to get a new window. Again, money coming out of your pocket. You see where I'm going with this? You could have saved a lot of money and a lot of time just by giving him your license and reg or insurance. Instead of trying to get on the phone and try to put this man on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or whatever, whatever, so you can get likes, views, and affirmations because you're going to get people that's going to come in your TikTok and be like, well, yeah, yeah, he was wrong. Yeah, he was wrong. He ain't had no right. He ain't this. He didn't have no right to bust out your window. And then you got the TikTok lawyers talking about lawsuit, lawsuit. He busted out your window, lawsuit. All you had to do was to give him your license and your insurance and we would have kept it moving from there. Instead of you getting on the phone, trying to call whoever it is, can you come up? What they going to do? What they going to do? They can't even take your car, bruh, or sis. They can't even take your car, man. Your car's done. Done. It's going to the impound. Just like you going to jail. And now you want to be, oh, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Listen. I I get cops, I I get I, I get the situations, I really do. I've been there, but like I said, have your credentials ready. That's it. That's all. You could have saved a lot of time and a lot of money. All you had to, all you would just, all you would have left with. With a one-way street ticket, and you could have just paid that online, 
or pay or go to court and fight it and just tell the judge, hey, I didn't know that was one way street. I didn't know. Yada, 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 bam, bam, boom. Could have got it knocked down to just the seatbelt ticket. But no, look at you. Resisting arrest, obstruction of justice, all because you want to get this man on TikTok. <laughs> okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm telling you, these cops, they not for play play no more. They not for play play. I'm just saying. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Yo, why don't you go ahead and help a brother out? That's the HBO special. You can do that by subscribe, like, and thank you. Hit that thank you button to show support of the channel. If you guys have any videos, questions, or anything like that that you want me to do, yo, 216-600-2090. Let me know, and we'll get it in. Until next time, everybody. Y'all take it easy. Peace. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, our bars, you got bops. Urge right to Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, bum, bum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.